Bengaluru-based firm Tactics has emerged as the lowest bidder for the procurement of 110 Dragonov sniper rifle upgrade kits for the Indian Army. The RDO chief has said, India is working with friendly countries for fundamental research in improving the algorithm, which goes into artificial intelligence. No, that is wrong information, we have not shelved. The RDO chief has quashed media reports about the complete shelving of the TAPAS program, and said that the TAPAS will be used as a technological demonstrator for the upcoming Archer NG. The Indian Air Force narrowly escaped falling victim to a sophisticated cyber espionage attack, that utilized a custom variant of the infamous Go Stealer malware, disguised as a zip file that was named 12 Su-30 aircraft procurement. The ISRO will conduct the first round of tests for its space station in 2025, that will pave the way for the launch of the station's preliminary version in 2028. Airbus has awarded a contract to the Tato Advanced Systems Limited to manufacture cargo and bulk cargo doors of the A320neo aircraft family. Dassault Aviation has signed a long-term contract with India's Dynamatic Technologies for manufacturing and assembly of flight-critical aero structures for Falcon 6X business jet. Airbus Aero Structures and Mohindra Aero Structures Private Limited have signed a new contract for the manufacture and delivery of 5,000 varieties of metallic components for all Airbus commercial aircraft models. Amid concerns over the lengthy and intricate process of MRFA tendering, and the urgent need to augment the combat strength, the Indian Air Force has communicated to the Defence Ministry, about its preference for a government-to-government -government deal for the acquisition of 90 Rafale fighter jets, and the proposal includes a clause for local manufacturing with transfer of technology, with a subsequent option for an additional 36 more aircraft. Experts have said, that the Indian Air Force's preference for a government-to-government -government deal for Rafale aircraft reflects the urgency, and practical considerations in addressing its combat strength requirements. The Indian Air Force's ambition to expand its fleet of Tejas Mark 1A fighter jets to 97 more units might face turbulence, due to a bottleneck in F-404 engine production by the US. General Electric has resumed manufacturing the F-404 engines, but the capped production of only 20 engines per year, could significantly hamper Hindustan Aeronautics' ambitious production goal to deliver 24 fighter jets per year. India currently has three options, that includes negotiating increased production capacity with General Electric, exploring alternative F-404 engine manufacturing options, or expedite the development of the Indigenous Cavalry 2 engine program. The Indigenous Archer NG is a bigger UAV, as its maximum takeoff weight is 1,800 kg, which is much higher than 1,350 kg of the Israeli Heron Mark II, that will enable the Archer NG to carry heavier payloads. The Archer NG has a larger 18.6 meter wingspan as compared to 16.6 meters of the Heron Mark II, giving the Archer NG a larger wing area for improved lift and endurance. The Archer NG will carry 300 kg of weapons, including the Nag Mark II anti-tank guided missile, while the Heron Mark II can carry 240 kg payload. The Archer NG will initially be powered by 180 horsepower engine, and later with powerful 220 horsepower engine, while the Heron Mark II is powered by 141 horsepower engine, which means that the Archer NG will have greater speed maneuverability and altitude performance. Today's top 3 comments. Oh, Mark, dropped it.